Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Monday, February the 28th, and we're just looking at the setup to receive NOAA 15, 18, and 19 satellites. What I've got here is a simple um, dipole antenna, and I've set it up for uh, 120 degrees. It seems to me that that's a good uh, receiving antenna for NOAA, and I've set it up on a uh, film tripod. It's got a gorilla, kind of a gorilla mount here and it's looking south. You can see my view here looks east, uh, but there's a lot of buildings in the way, so uh, that's looking north. So I get a pretty obstructed view, but we'll see what we can do here. So there's the uh, SMA connector from the antenna. I've got a BNC to SMA adapter, and I've got an RG58. And over here, I'm using a Sawbird saw filter at 137 megahertz with a built-in amplifier. I'm not so concerned about the amplifier as I am with the filter. The filter filters at all the uh, intermod in the 137 megahertz band. And then I'm going into a version two of the RTL with a SMA to SMA. And then I'm going into a USB hub. There's the power for the Sawbird here. And uh, there's two connections on the hub and that goes into the laptop. Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Tuesday, March the 1st, and this morning we're going to try and receive NOAA 15, a low Earth orbiting weather satellite. It comes into acquisition in about two minutes. Um, I've set up STR Angel with a preset here uh, at 137.5 uh, megahertz. And what happens with the satellite tracker is that it automatically um, adjusts this frequency to match the satellite. So for NOAA 15, it'll shift this to 137.62. And then in the demodulator, it, accommod it accommodates the Doppler shift as well. And for the other satellites, it'll shift the frequency. So the satellite tracker has um, all the information. Initially, you set it up over the internet to download the database. So right now it's saying that NOAA 15 will come into acquisition in about one minute. You can see it on the map here slowly uh, descending. It's on a descending orbit. It'll pass over um, my location here in uh, a couple of minutes and it'll be visible for, let's see, it'll be visible for about 12 minutes. So we'll hear the voice activation in one minute and the satellite tracker will turn on the uh, demodulator and it'll turn on the uh, RTL. I'm using a V dipole outside as well as I've got a sawbird uh, saw filter, which is about five megahertz wide, either side of 137 megahertz, and it contains a low noise amplifier. So we'll see if that helps. I'm not too sure if that's going to increase the intermod or it's gonna help or not. Anyways, we'll see what happens. NOAA 15 is visible for 13 minutes. Max elevation, 54 degrees. Okay, so we're seeing the carriers down there. Not particularly strong at the moment. Just adjusted the gain back down to see if that decreased the uh, noise level. Now I have an obstructed view looking east. There are lots of tall buildings so that will definitely affect the uh, reception here. Anyways, we see the FM modulation here. It's non-stationary because the uh, information keeps changing. It's getting stronger now. Let's see how... So it looks like we're getting a fairly strong signal there.
<coughs> Signal still strong. And we've got about, um, looks like five minutes to go.